Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chad Osuji and I actually own an ATM business. And pretty much what I do is I go around in my local area and I'll place my ATM machine at some local businesses. And you know, when someone goes up to my ATM machine to take money out, I actually make money off of that surcharge. So that's pretty much what I do. And I basically make money by selling money. So in this video, I'm actually gonna explain how to start an ATM business. And I'm actually gonna talk about the basics, you know, the fundam fundamentals behind this strategy. And pretty much I've only been talking in my other videos, I've only been talking about advanced and intermediate uh, type of strategies with this ATM business so I've been leaving some of you in the dark so I'm actually gonna address some of these issues in this video so make sure you actually stay till the end of the video because at the end of the video I'm actually gonna be giving you a free ebook on how to start your own ATM business so without further ado let's get to the video welcome to the Chad Osuji show where I show you business strategies marketing techniques and tactics to grow your own business So you guys want to learn how to start your own ATM business and you know like any other business there's a few steps that you have to take in order uh, for you to actually start up. So one of the first things that you guys actually have to do is file with the government with your state uh, an LLC which uh, stands for a limited liability company. And pretty much what this piece of paper is is just a document saying that you know I've paid my fee. Um, and you are uh, actual legal registered business with your state. Now each state actually has different uh, filing fees. Uh, so for me, for example, I live in Maryland. I think my fee was like $150 or $200 or something like that. Um, you have to file this piece of paper just for liability purposes. So say for example, something, God forbid something happens with your ATM machine, like somebody trips over your machine. Um, you you can actually be held liable for this so uh, if you don't have this piece of paper if you don't file for an LLC if somebody sues your ATM business your personal assets your car your house your bank account are all liable now if you do file for an LLC only your business is liable so your personal assets cannot be held accountable. So this is just an extra precaution uh, for a lot of people who are starting out, starting their own business. And this is something that you need, you must get this before you actually start your ATM business. Now the second thing that you guys need uh, in order to start your ATM business um, is a business bank account. Now. If you want to start an ATM business, you can't use your personal bank account. You can't just use any old bank account. It has to be a business bank account. Now, when I opened my business bank account for an ATM business, I had so many places deny me. I had eight places tell me that they did not accept an ATM business. And, you know, just because the banks, they have their own ATMs, and if they allow other ATMs to come into the market, um, you know that rises the competition for them so they actually don't want ATM businesses you know at their at their business so you guys have to find go through different banks personally I use Bank of America so I definitely recommend going to Bank of America first um, you know I, I've heard people getting denied from Bank of America um, but definitely try out Bank of America try out Wells Fargo try out Citibank and also try out Capital One as well um, and when you go into these into these banks, you have to bring certain documents. You have to bring your LLC form. You have to bring an EIN number, which you should get when you file for your LLC, uh, social security number, and also your driver's license as well. Some banks require some more things. Some uh, don't require as much, but definitely bring all those documents with you and you should be all set. Uh, for the business bank account, I don't pay any money for that account each month. Just because I meet those minimum requirements for my bank, I think the minimum amount you can have for Bank of America is like $1,500 or $2,000. So if you have that amount in your bank every month, they don't charge you. Um, if you have less than that, I think they charge you like 10 or 15 bucks a month. You know, it's not a huge deal, but you know, that money does add up. So definitely um, ha have some cash in your bank account when you first start out. Now the third step that you guys have to do to start an ATM business is you have to get business cards, flyers, and a website. Now the flyers and the website are definitely optional. 
um, you know, it, it looks a little better, it looks more professional, but I definitely recommend getting business cards because if you go into a business and you talk to the owner or you talk to the clerk or whatever, they're going to want some sort of information about you just so they can, you know, give it to their boss or so they can contact you later. And if you don't have these documents, you know, writing it on a sticky note doesn't look professional at all. And, you know, most of these businesses are just going to turn you away if you don't even have a business card. So definitely get a business card once you have your LLC and your business bank account established. You can even do the business cards first because, you know, they, they're custom printed. So it takes a couple days to come in the mail. So you can actually do the business cards first, then do your LLC, then do your business bank account. But whatever order works best for you. So after you have everything set up, after you have that LLC, business bank account, and your, uh, your cards ready to go, you can actually now start to go out and find and talk to these business owners. Now, in order to find a good business to put your ATM at, you have to make sure that there is a demand for cash at that location. So good places to put them are convenience stores, marijuana dispensary, strip clubs, liquor stores, and any other cash only business. Now the cash only businesses, those are jackpots, man, especially the, the strip clubs, because the customers at that establishment need cash so where are they going to look for cash they're going to look at the business they're going to look at your atm for cash now especially with college bars because college bars if you go to a bar in a college most of them actually require a cover fee so you go to the bar stand in line you have to pay five bucks at the door ten bucks at the door well so so when somebody goes into the bar to buy something uh, most people want to buy with cash, you know, there's shady stuff at bars, you know, some of the bartenders swipe cards under the counter, um, they charge extra. So a lot of people who go to the bar like to pay with cash. So if they want to use the ATM machine, they're going to use the one in the bar that only has a $3 charge. They're not going to go outside, use a free ATM because then they have to come back in line and pay that $5, $10 cover fee. So it's definitely good to have a ATM machine in a bar. Um, now you can look other places, uh, barber shops are okay, salons are okay, but definitely make sure there's a cash demand at that location. So the fifth step in order to start your ATM business is to actually get that location, get that owner to sign a contract with you. Now this contract that you're gonna have them sign, it's beneficial for you and also the business owner. You know, you wanna make sure that you and the business owner have on paper that the ATM machine is yours and it's at their location for X amount of years. You're paying the business owner X amount you know, all of these little details you have to have on paper. You know, something happens and someone takes, if you take them to court or they take you to court, you want to have this, you know, documented. You want to have everything filed because, you know, you never know. And you always want to put yourself in the best position, especially in the future, if it does come down to going to court. So if you want to know more about, you know, contracts and other paperwork that you have to do and have to file, I have a free ebook. Uh, link is right here, but you know, wait till the end of the video. You can always click the link in the description too. Now the sixth step, you know, once you have your contract signed, um, you're pretty much ready to place your ATM machine in the store. So you have to order that ATM machine from a supplier. So when the supplier ships your ATM machine, they're going to ship it to the store, to the business. Don't get this thing shipped to your house because when you get it shipped to your house, you got to lug this thing all the way to the business and this thing weighs about 300 pounds. So definitely get that thing shipped to the business. Now, once it's there, you actually can do one of two things. You can hire somebody to drill it to the floor, program it and actually load the cash right then and there and teach you how to use the machine or you can actually install it yourself. And we actually teach our students how to install our machines. And that just means that if you install the machine yourself, you save 300 and roughly $350 each time you install a new machine just because you don't have to go out there and hire somebody else to do it. You can just do it yourself. It doesn't take too long. You know, save yourself 350 bucks. It's, you know, no big deal. So that's something that we teach in a course. You know, link is in the description, by the way, if you want to go ahead and check that out. Now, the seventh step in order to start your ATM business is you have to get some cash to put into your machine. Um, you can either use your personal savings or you can have somebody else load your machine for you and use their cash. 
if you do this option, they're gonna want a percentage of that surcharge, so just keep that in mind. But if you use your cash, you know, just go head over to the bank, take out a bunch of 20s from the teller, go over to your machine, load that in the machine, then put it in the back end um, through the software that they provide on the machine, and then you're ready to go. You're ready to make some money. And on average, I've seen most of the machines make anywhere from $500 to $1,000 a month just from one machine alone. So, so say for example, you need $60,000 in income every year. All you gotta do is take $60,000, divide that by 12, and then take that number and then divide it by 500, and then that's how many machines you would need in order to make that amount each year. Now, depending on how busy your location is, you're gonna have to have different amounts of cash inside of each machine. And personally, I like to keep my cash where I only have to go back and refill my machine every two weeks. Um, you know, when I first started out, I was doing it every single week just because I didn't have as much cash. Um, but I do fill my machine up every two weeks, which is about $6,000. So if you wanna do it for each week, like you go on every Friday or every Tuesday or something like that, um, you know, the rough estimate is about $3,000 a week. But again, it does depend on what, what kind of location you have and how much traffic that location gets. And then also keep in mind that this cash is recyclable. So um, you'll use $3,000 and it gives it to your customer, but then that $3,000 goes right back into your bank account plus the surcharges. So that means, you know, every single week I'm going through $3,000, but then I'm also making $100 on top of that. So at the end of the week, you know, there's $3,100. And then at the end of that, the next week, there's $3,200 and it, you know, it keeps building up. So the next step in starting your ATM business is to get more machines. You know, this whole business is a numbers game. The more machines you have, the more passive income it'll actually bring you over time. So if you have one machine, you know, that's $500. Sure, that's more money for food, more money for the necessities, uh, such as bills and whatever. But if you have five machines or 10 machines, even 20 machines, you know, that's financial freedom right there. That income, can help you to quit your full-time job and you know you can focus on other businesses if you want you can focus on investing you can put your money towards all of these different things and you know you don't have to live paycheck to paycheck you can actually have some passive income coming in and you know you can spend time doing whatever it is that you love you can spend time with your girlfriend boyfriend you know you can take care of your kids you can you know focus on a hobby that you like you know, so this is something that I really recommend that you guys do and take action, man. You guys have to take action. If you just watch all of these videos and you don't do anything about it, you know, nothing's gonna happen at the end of the day. So definitely check out my free ebook, like I promised, that link is in the description below. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Um, leave a comment and subscribe if you like this content. Um, I'm gonna be coming out with some more content and within the next couple months. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, but you know, that is all for this video, guys. Thank you much so for staying to the end. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, drop a comment, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.